I know you've been watching Magnum P.I. It's been top rated for four years. Here's Higgins, John Hillerman, back with us once again. Nice to be back, my dear. Nice to have you, Mr. Hillerman. Thank you. Do you know that this program was just put into syndication and our previous program director at our station bought Magnum P.I. for syndication down in KMBC in Kansas City and paid two and a half million dollars just to run it. I know, I hear it's the highest. Now they're paying more for it than any show in history or something Are like that. Are you getting a large chunk of that? I no, I don't. I, I wish I were getting a large chunk. I get some money out of it, but not a large, large chunk. I, I wish I owned more of it than I do. So they don't it's they going to be a very profitable show. Very proud. Oh, did you luck into one? Did you luck into one? I know. Yeah, I know. Fat and sassy. And, oh, yes. <laughs> you know, I've always thought that you reminded me of William Powell. There was yes, a, a sophisticated quality about you. Do you know he died not too long I know. ago? I know. I, I'm, I'm often compared to William Powell, and uh, I, I was hoping I could meet him somehow, and I was very saddened to read. It was about a week ago that yeah, he died. He at, lived in Palm Springs. So. At 91. So you have 91. now to take on the tradition, that urbane, sophisticated, somewhat aloof tradition. It is your role now. Well, it is a mantle I will wear with pride, if yes, possible. Yes, yes. If you recall the last picture show, uh, Peter Bragdonovich's film, which was outstanding, he was in it. So was your friend Eileen uh, uh, Brennan. Yes. How's she doing? Well, I, I, she's marvelously, as a matter, you know, that was a very serious injury, and mm -hmm. she's very lucky to be alive. And I was pleased to read, I was in L.A. on my way here, in the Sunday paper, she has just filmed a pilot with Ed Asner, a new show, called Off the Rack for ABC, I believe. And uh, they've done the pilot, and hopefully it will sell, and she's back in the saddle again, which is wonderful because I oh, was very she's seriously injured. Yes, about that. remember her on Private Benjamin, and she was hit by a, a car. car or something. She was coming out of a restaurant, hit by a car, going about 50 miles an hour. Uh, well, I'm glad she's she back. She's apparently completely recovered, has filmed a pilot with Ed, and hopefully Good. we'll have a new hit series. Good. She's a lovely lady. Well, the reason I bring that up is, you, do you recall who wrote the last picture show? It was. Um, a young man from Texas. Uh, yeah. What was his name? Larry McMurtry. Larry McMurtry. Right. He also wrote HUD, and he yes. also wrote Terms of Endearment. Did Larry write Terms? Yes, he I did. haven't seen that film yet. You must oh, see I, it. I know. I hear it. So I had no idea that, that was Larry. And, film. and the reason well, I say you must see writer. it, it's the first film we've ever had shot in Lincoln, Nebraska. Oh, it was filmed there. Our our first film, nominated for eleven Academy oh, Awards. Oh yes, it's a huge success. So really, John, I mean, if you want to uh, shoot some films, you don't have to stay in Hawaii. You can come to Lincoln. Well, I think what I should do just to guarantee success, no matter what the film is about, we'll shoot it in Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> Because obviously, it's good luck. <laughs> obviously. You don't mind, do you? No, we want to have you come, because you're way over. <laughs> He's got to drive, drive, drive all the way from Hawaii. Yeah, That's yeah. a very long drive. Why is it that you are the only one who comes and talks to us? We've talked to you. We've talked to Tom Selleck. We have talked to um, Larry. TC has never, never come to talk to he us. Hasn't? Why is that? I don't know why. I just, uh, I don't know who, who sets all that stuff up. They just ask me to do it, and I feel that it's good for the show mm -hmm. to to meet, come and talk to your people, and meet, all, and meet everybody. I think that's important. So I do it. I don't know. I have no idea what the situation is, why Roger hasn't done it. Maybe that he hasn't been asked, or he might not have been available. Sometimes that's the problem. Mm -hmm. See, I had, they had to, in order for me to do this, they had to assure that I, there were five days when I didn't film. And as it is, I'm going to go back, fly back to Honolulu Tuesday morning and film Tuesday evening. So if the shooting schedule is such that they can't let you out, mm -hmm. To do it, let you out of school, so mm -hmm. to speak, then you can't do it. That it could be that that's the reason Roger hasn't done it. I don't know. He did a, um, an episode recently where he got to conduct, yes. conduct the <laughs> orchestra, and you had such majesty and power, John, while you were doing. Wouldn't you really like to be yeah. in control of that great enormous orchestra? When we were doing it, it uh, we uh, I, I, they had a, a man there to teach me how to conduct, and I we were rehearsing, and I said, all my life I wanted to do this. And so he showed me a few moves, and I started doing it. And he said, I don't need to show you anything. He said, this is coming. He said, you look like you've been yeah. doing it all your life. That's because I've been fantasizing it all my so life. So you want to lead a band. I'd like yes. to. Well, it was, it, it's really a wonderful feeling oh, to yes. move that stick, and suddenly all this music comes mm -hmm. out. It's interesting. You know, John won the Golden Globe Award last year for the best uh, supporting actor role. Where did you put that trophy? It's in a very beautiful... Uh, 
display case in the living room of my penthouse in Waikiki. Notice how that just rolled out in my penthouse in Waikiki. Oh. Which I recently bought. Yeah. Good for you. You know, in October, Tom hurt his leg. He was, yes. Tom Selleck hurt his leg while he was doing something. And that puts you all out of commission for about a week or something. About a it? week, yes. Mm -hmm. he, he takes such a large responsibility in terms of carrying so much of the show. You have to be really careful about his health. Well, I, I, you know, I, we, I kid him all the time about don't, don't, don't trip or do anything because yeah. you'll put me out of work. But the, f the fact is that Tom is a naturally athletic man, you know, he's a, a real natural athlete. And we were doing a show s about softball, and he was running a home run and he just tore a, a ligament or something in his leg. Could happen to anybody, but when a, the star of a television show tears a ligament in his leg, a hundred people are out of work for a week. Okay, whatever. and you stay healthy. Oh, thank you. I, I try. And please come and see us on the mainland more often than you do. I'll I know you hate to leave the lovely breezes. Oh, I don't mind coming back occasionally. I enjoy it. You do a wonderful job, John. Thank you, dear. I appreciate John it. John Hillerman is his name, of course. He's Higgins here on Magnum P.I. and 1011 Strong. Thank you. Thank Stay you. tuned. 1011 Morning continues.